We go to the nurse. The emotional aftershock of Haiti's earthquake is being felt at the Uniondale High School in New York, where nearly 200 students and staff have strong ties to Haiti. I want to be in Haiti right now. That's the place I want to see right now. So far, three staff members and one student know they have lost loved ones, and dozens more are worried. Today, the principal brought in social workers and psychologists for a group counseling session. Who is in Haiti in your family? I got my mother and my aunts, all, like, all my families in Haiti. And he has not heard from them. Neither has Junie Abraham, whose mother is also missing. I'm trying to focus, and I know only God can do something. To stay busy, she's volunteered to raise funds, today appealing to her classmates in her native Creole. Manger. The angst is inescapable. In South Florida, home to the nation's largest Haitian community, heartbroken residents cut off from any communication in the earthquake zone pray for their loved ones. But you see my eyes? It's swell from crying. I have not ate, I have not slept. The tragedy in Haiti has also hit home with Noel and Derek Vandeviever in Northern California. They adopted two-year-old Christopher in Haiti and were planning to bring him home from the orphanage this fall. It's been tough. We just, I mean, we just don't know um, if he's okay. A blogger says the orphanage is okay, but the Vandeviever say they cannot relax until they see their son. They said on television that they needed wheelchairs and stuff like Absolutely. this. In the midst of their grief, Haitian Americans are learning they are not alone. In every corner of America, people want to help. At a firehouse in Miami's Little Haiti, local residents dropped off items for the earthquake zone as 160 rescuers prepared to go there to lend a helping hand. The fact that we're going there gives them a sense of hope, and the only thing that we can do is just ask them just to pray for their loved ones and hope the best. Hope. As the grim realities of the earthquake are revealed, hope is all many Haitian Americans have left. Randall Pinkston, CBS News, New York.